two years. Two years, Islanders. Look at this right here. I posted this on my Facebook page two years ago today. You can see the aft of the Carnival Vista. Amanda and I had booked a Havana room for the first time ever. We were so excited to cruise. March the 21st of 2020. I posted this March the 11th of 2020. In less than 10 days, I'll be quarantined to the area below. I was showing the Havana area. That was our plan, just to stay in Havana. We can quarantine, we can stay by ourselves. And then two days later, March the 13th of 2020, the world changed. We're going to reflect on that today. Plus, we have news from Carnival using Verify. We have News from Princess saying that children under the age of five can now cruise without an exemption. And we're going to talk about MSC and their big announcement yesterday in Miami. Let's talk about cruise news right now on Island Time. A big happy Friday to all you Islanders. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Island Time. I am your host, Derek. We're kicking off the weekend right now. We're keeping this weekend going. It's going to be a long one, we hope. Get a break from work a little bit. Get a break from reality. Spend some time in the islands together. That's what we're doing. We're also getting ready to cruise. One week from today, we will leave and head to Galveston, Texas, where we're going to get on the Carnival Vista, the March 19th sailing. We cannot wait. There are many of you cruising with us. We're excited to meet all of you. We're looking forward to cruising with our kids for the first time as well. How about that intro? Two years ago, Amanda and I were so excited to cruise. Of course, it was stopped. Just two days after that post, on March the 13th of 2020, the U.S. government, the CDC in particular, stepped in and said cruising is no more. We are stopping cruising for the time being. Two weeks to flatten the curve. It's tur turned into two years of what we've lived through. But two years ago, the cruise industry was shut down. It is now back open. It's almost back to 100%. The ships are back. Occupancy of these ships, capacity levels of these ships are creeping up to 85-90%. Port Canaveral just mentioned today that their revenue is almost back to what it was before COVID. We're getting back there and we're stronger than ever. You know why we're stronger than ever? It's because everything that we've gone through as individuals, as families, as communities, and as a country, we're stronger and we're stronger together. The cruise industry and cruising is better right now than it ever has been. It's safer than ever and you and i probably are cruising more than ever i know i'm cruising more than ever and i think a lot of you are as well i want to ask you this have you cruised yet since the cruise restart that started in late june early july of last year have you cruised yet and if not do you have one booked also, if you're cruising more than you used to before COVID, let me know that because everyone I've talked to, just about everyone, okay, everyone I've talked to says, I'm cruising. I used to take a cruise a year. Now I'm taking three. Uh, we're, we have learned the last two years to live life while we still have it, to enjoy our freedom. It's neat to look back on what happened two years ago but it's exciting to look forward and what's ahead in cruising. I'm glad that we're here and that we're here together. Had to mention it. I had to. Okay. <clears throat> all the soppy stuff, all the sappy stuff, it's over. Let's get on to the cruise news and big news from Carnival. As Carnival says, hey, our pilot program with Verifly was successful. They tried it out with Mardi Gras. It was in Galveston, February 24th when I was there. Now they say we're going to roll this, out, this thing out to the entire fleet. Let me say this now. You do not have to use Verifly if you do not want to. Many people have asked, do I have to do this? No, you do not have to do this if you don't want to. Some people don't like uploading their passport and their vaccine information, their testing information. They don't want to do that on their phone for whatever reason, and that's fine. You do not have to do this if you do not want to. But if you want an easier, quicker check-in process, there's now an option for you in every U.S. home port called Verify. Let's first talk about how you get the app. 
you have to go to your app store, uh, your Apple store, your Google Play store, download the Fairfly app. When you download it, you search for Carnival Cruise Line and it will prompt you to do several things. It will ask you to take and submit a, a profile picture, a picture of your face first, and then it will lead you through the different props of things you need to upload from your passport to your vaccine card to your test. The goal is for you to do all this work up front before you even get to the terminal, before you get to the port to embark on your cruise and you upload everything. And if you do it successfully, and you can, it's pretty easy to do, then a verify pass will be granted to you. And when you get to the port, to the terminal, and they're asking you, we need your test, we need your vaccine card, we need your passport, and you're getting all that out, you just get out that verify pass and say, hey, I've been approved. They look at that, they let you go, and you're done. You're through the check-in process. Again, not required. If you want to use all the paperwork and do it, you can still do it. This is just another option that's offered to you. So exciting news. Carnival's the, uh, the biggest cruise line to do it. Others may follow either with Verifly or there are some other programs out there that are like it. Have you used Verify yet? Uh, I want to know. We used it in Galveston. Galveston was not ready for it just a few weeks ago. I'm gonna to try to use it next week again in Galveston to see now uh, if they're ready to go. I'll let you know my feedback, but if you've used it, especially if you've used it successfully, what tips or tricks do you have? Let us know in the comments section below. Good news today as we continue to move toward normalcy, as Princess Cruise Line starts to welcome kids under the age of five to sell with them and without exemptions. That's right. Princess has now announced what Carnival announced, that it will now welcome kids under the age of five years Years old who are not yet eligible for the vaccination for the vaccine and they will not need to apply for an exemption uh, this is big news for families of course and for families who have kids that are 6 to age 12 because that means more exemptions are now available for your kids to use so it is big news and I know some of you don't like the kids you've enjoyed no kids and cruising or, or very few kids Kids are coming back. Cruising is getting back to normal. Princess did commit in this announcement to continue to sell uh, at 95% vaccinated passengers. Uh, so that's not going away for Princess yet. Um, but they did want to include children who are under the age of five years of age to be able to cruise with them without exemptions. Big news from Princess Cruise Line. And I have to mention this, because I mentioned MSC yesterday in yesterday's video, their decision to cruise out of New York. I actually got a lot of comments about MSC. I was surprised. I've never cruised MSC. I haven't. But they're growing. And it's going to be neat to see how many people in the next five to eight years cruise MSC and who really don't even know about them right now. European Cruise Line, yes, they have some ships here. Uh, beautiful ships, too. They're putting their money where their mouth is. As they announced yesterday, the Port of Miami is where they're going to invest. They're going to build the largest cruise port, cruise terminal, in North America. Not Carnival, not Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Celebrity, MSC. They're going to build this port in Miami, and listen to this, a price tag of $400 million. Yeah, yeah. A lot of us who've never cruised them will cruise them here in the years ahead. The building's going to be four stories tall. It's going to be able to accommodate 36,000 guests per day. It's going to be able to accommodate three, three MSC ships per day and be one of the most environmentally friendly terminals in the country. They're putting their money where their mouth is. It's gonna be exciting to see what is all done with it. It's, going, it's set to open up December of 2023, as long as the supply chain will allow things to come in, arrive, and for those builders to continue to build. But we're excited for Miami and excited for MSC as they continue to grow and have a footprint in North America. That's it for the cruise news today. We hope that you plan to join us Sunday, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Island Time will go live. You will be here with us. It will be a time for us to interact with each other, ask questions to each other, and have a lot of fun together. We hope you have a great weekend. For those of you getting snow, be careful. For those college basketball lovers, good luck in your teams that you're, you're cheering on this weekend and the selection show that takes place Sunday as well. We'll talk to you this weekend right here on Island Time.